So, so I was actually going to cover this, and we didn't have some of the tech hooked up at PodCamp. Um, so mine's the DX01 camera. Okay. And it's actually a lightning adapter camera that hooks into the bottom of your iPhone Ooh. and uses like a DSLR grade um, lens. Okay. But then it uses the iPhone as like your rig to control like what's, Zoom and what's this on Mac break? I think it was on Mac break. Okay. They, they started talking about it and then it sounded like Alex Lindsay's using it, but he really wasn't allowed to talk very much about it other than what, what the public knew. Right. Kind of thing. So I and they didn't he didn't even allude to the fact that they would have a website up and running. So I, I obviously started looking around and they do have a full fledged website with full fledged specs for the device. Wow. Um I mean, to me this is a really nice device, and it really extends the capability of. Unfortunately, it's obviously iPhone only, but um, it it really bumps the quality mm-hmm. to twenty point two megapixels, max aperture one point eight. I mean, it, it, it's a really, really, really nice device. Um, depending on what the next iPhone looks like, I may end up picking this up. Um, depending on what they do with their um, camera upgrade. And I, I'm a little hesitant based on the fact that it has to plug into that bottom port, um, which makes me a little nervous because what happens if they go to USB-C right. sometime soon? Right. But the quality images that I'm seeing on this and on Alex Lindsay's Facebook, um, things of that nature, make me really think about picking this up. Because to me, it really... They always say the best camera is the one you have with you, um, and I'm trying to slim down my bag, not put more cameras in it. <laughs> right, right. Um, it's, and it's, this kind of makes it's another little gadget that that uh, thankfully it's not an entire other gadget. Right, but still. But so right now I carry I actually carry a 20 megapixel mm-hmm. zoom lens Android Samsung Galaxy camera. With right, me. right. Which that's bulky. Which is yeah, it's very bulky, and it's it's a whole another battery I have to charge. It's a whole another thing I have to worry about having app updates for. Right. This kind of gets it. It downsizes the device. It downsizes. <laughs> this is my home as need. much as another iPhone. Yes, it is. <laughs> I've noticed. So, though. So, so the price is. What is the number? Five ninety nine for a pre order. Can we swear on this podcast? A little bit. <laughs> we already did. <laughs> well, the new iPhone six S. September 18th pre-order starts. That's what I was waiting for, maybe to get out of my BlackBerry. Uh-huh. And I was thinking, oh my uh-huh. God, this would be great. I'm going to do an iPhone. I can get this. But boy, that's your thousand bucks with a phone and right. that. But the, but compares to comparatively, if you're replacing a DSLR right. with this, that's, I mean, that's what we're aiming to. Right, right. That's what I'm looking at. That's that's my okay. point is I'm looking at replacing. I don't want another DSLR to carry on me. But if I just have this little thing to add on to this... And the price that kind of works out, right? Yes. I mean, you look at like even like going into like a, a model back from a Canon or a Nikon, you're you're spending at least that. So yeah. So that's where I'm looking at it from the aspect and, of it's 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 not it, it's the same cost as I would spend on that, but it's that much less that I can throw in the bag. Mm-hmm. Um, that, that's kind of where I'm lo- what I'm looking at it from. That's but, but what worries me is because it plugs into the bottom port. Yeah. What what. what Apple needs to tell me, or I have to have some concept that I'm going to have this for a while. Okay. For more for more than a year. Uh, yeah. Oh, so you want yeah. you want to I I you know I feel like I feel like whatever you buy for your iPhone now, you shouldn't expect it to work for that new iPhone two years from now. Like, see the charge the adapters. I think you I know should. you want to, but like look how long thirty pin lasted. And the thirty pin lasted, but when you upgraded to a uh, couple OSs ago, my thirty pin adapter stopped working for H- HDMI. Hmm. Well, it still works on mine. You are a, have a luckier <laughs> dongle than mine. <laughs> I, I mean, guess. I have the Apple dongle. Yeah, yeah, I got the Apple one too, but it it, it wouldn't Whoa. work anymore. Maybe it was an early, maybe it was just, just the point version or something. And they fixed yeah. it later, but but it did cut out, and I stopped using it, and now I have no idea where it's at because I stopped using it. So because that's what I was using to to push stuff to my TV that wasn't like on. I don't know. Did I even have a Chromecast at the time? I guess you know. Mm-hmm.